Okay, folks, in case you haven't heard, the NFL has handed down a six-game suspension on Ezekiel Elliott, and I guess uh, the reason is domestic uh, abuse or violence. Now, when is enough enough? This man came under scrutiny by the uh, police in Ohio, okay, when his girlfriend got pissed off at him because he was breaking up with her. She goes to a bar with him. He leaves or walks out the door, I guess waits for her because he's going to take her home. She gets into a bar fight. Then she comes out with all of the bruises and shit from the bar fight that she started, okay, and you can look it up for yourself, comes out, calls the cops, and claims that uh, he was the one who inflicted uh, the injuries on her. Fortunately for him, there were witnesses and video in the bar of her being involved in the bar fight and witnesses outside the bar that told police that he didn't touch her. But here we go with the NFL. And if they don't come out with the exact evidence on how they arrived at their decision to suspend this man for six games, all hell needs to break loose. Now, there are sportscasters all over the country that are jumping up and down about this thing. And um, they're talking about uh, Tom Brady and uh, he got four games and they didn't have any evidence on him. Well, hell, he destroyed the damn evidence. So that's why he got the four games. You got the uh, kicker from the New York Giants uh, and uh, he got suspended and hasn't played. Well, hell, he had a diary and he admitted to beating the shit out of his wife. You got the Ben Roethlisberger who got four games. Well, hell, he settled with one of the four broads that accused him of rape. In all of those cases and several others, there has been actual physical evidence or an admission of guilt as far as the player was concerned. In this case, Mr. Elliott is asserting that he has not done it. So they damn sure better come up with some evidence. And I'm not talking about he said, she said evidence. I'm talking about eyewitnesses to the domestic violence that they are asserting that he perpetrated against uh, this woman. Because if it's just she said, and she shows him a bunch of pictures of, uh, of her injuries, and she didn't file a police report, then I got a major problem with this shit. When is enough enough? When is it this far but no further? The NFL Players Association and the NFL players, you guys need to grow a pair and stand up to the NFL and the NFL owners and if necessary, you guys need to boycott. You guys need to strike. You guys need to take action to show that you got a set instead of just fecklessly going along with the program because this bullshit ain't right. Now, you might think that because I'm located in Dallas, you know, I'm doing this because of the Dallas Cowboys. No, that could not be further from the truth. I'm not really a big Cowboy fan. I used to be a major Cowboy hater and now I'm basically neutral on them. I watch them, I won't root for them, but I won't root against them. This is a question of justice, of due process. Now, Mr. Elliott is going to appeal this, and honestly, um, there's a, such a thing as a suing. And when you sue, there must be disclosure, okay? There must be a revelation of the evidence that the prosecution has. If necessary, he needs to take this to the courts so that all of this shit comes out light of day. And I'm not talking about he said, she said, because uh, that don't wash. But it seems like we are getting crucified 
no matter where we are. Now, this is a game. Don't get me wrong, for them it's a job, for us it's a game, it's entertainment. But yet and still, you basically are taking about $6 million out of this man's pocket. And in my opinion, unless there is evidence that I haven't seen, it's bullshit. Now, if they can come up with the goods that uh, he beat the shit out of uh, his girlfriend or hit her or whatever, then obviously I will have to reassess my position. But at this point, with the information that is available to the public, um, this particular one doesn't fly. Folks, this is getting downright ridiculous as far as uh, the attack that is being perpetrated by white society, i.e. white ownership of the NFL and the NFL commissioner and uh, his subordinates against players and particularly black players in this league. This shit has got to stop. And the Players Association, again, needs to grow a pair and go after the NFL owners and sue their asses, especially on this one. I don't believe they have a leg to stand on other than discrimination on the Colin Kaepernick situation. But on this one, unless there is disclosure as to exactly what they have and that it meets the uh, definition of domestic violence, we need to go to the mat.